Good afternoon, folks. Uh, Mechanic Dave here with Affordable Automotive Repair and Sales. I got a 2007 328i BMW. It came in. Um, customer complained of it not wanting to start. It didn't even turn over at all. Um, they proceeded to say that they jump started it. Um, batteries located in the passenger rear in the trunk. Uh, I did a check on the battery. It was low on voltage, but it had enough cold cranking amps and passed the test. So um, I pulled it out, put it on the charger. Uh, it threw a code. The code was, I think it was A028 or A032, uh, which had to do with a fault in the start system. So I pulled. Well, here's my new starter. As you can guess, the old one was bad. I pulled the old starter and bench checked it, and nothing. So this thing's got a whole array of problems, uh, one being a massive oil leak <coughs> down where the starter is. And if you haven't figured out by now, you do need to pull the intake to get to the starter, which is back in no man's land back there. So whole slew of things have to come out to get that out. <laughs> Don't even get me started with that. Second thing, that massive oil leak, I believe it to be the uh, oil filter assembly um, leaking from, this is the part of the seal that goes to there on the cylinder head. It's at a vertical angle. So oil will leak down the front, down the back. That oil migrates everywhere and then as you know, um, it shorted out the starter on this one. Um, I'm actually changing the front main seal while I'm at it because, um, God, there's just so much crap down there. Um, just a big old mess. That seal is very fun to get out, by the way. Um, if you don't have the special tool, then look how thick that thing is. It's well over an inch um, thickness. So or depth, I should say. That's how deep it is from the leading edge of the crank going in. Um, I wanted to show you this oil thing because I read that if you let this oil leak continue off the face of the engine, it'll drip down here onto the pulley, um, it'll make the belt weak, and it'll make the, the belt spongy. That oil travels along the serpentine belt, and it'll start to wipe out that front seal at which I've heard of the belts because of the contour. Here's a harmonic balancer. There's no wall here, just a very thin lip. I heard the belt can actually get loose and migrate in to the crank and it'll protrude the seal and it'll go in and I heard that the timing chain will actually chew that son of a gun up and chew the belt up into the engine sucking it up into the oil system, clogging your oil system. So with that said, that's why I'm going to go ahead and just change it out while I'm here. I wish I had a pressure washer here. This thing definitely needs it. It's a gross, disgusting mess. Um, I, I um, am putting, I put a new seal in here, but at the same time I'm putting a Permatex one minute gasket best stuff here. Don't use high temp. That stuff's garbage. Just Permatex one minute gasket. Trust me. Best stuff on the market. So I put a bead layer there where the gasket's going to go. I put a bead here. I'm letting it cure for a couple minutes and then I'm going to bolt it up. Um, I got the new seal over across the way that I got to throw on for the front. I uh, got the new starter to put in. But I just want to give you guys a little, little bit of information. This is a uh, the most in-depth I've gone on the 328i so far, um, just a whole array of problems. If you get a no start, um, check battery voltage, check for, uh, do a load test on it, um, pull it out, charge it, throw it back on. You won't be able to find that code with your common code reader. Um, I'll give you a quick, quick view of it really quick, that code for the no start so you guys know. Exactly. And I use the snap on Zeus. Um, let's see here. Cancel. BMW view. All right. 
So I had an airbag code, which is consistent to another battery issue some, most, sometimes. Um, where's the code at in particular I wanted to find? It was... Here it is. Electronic immobilizer terminal 30 echo slash 30 India, Indiglu, or Indio, sorry. Um, the code was A0 Bravo 2. If you see that, the number one fix for that per the scanner, because the scanner actually gives you options on what to change out if, if with those particular codes because mechanics like myself and around the world we input data on here and we say what fixed it and then it becomes a trend based on a bar graph and I don't think I can show you on here I was really hoping to but anyhow if you see that code then it's more than likely needing a starter there was two options it was a starter or intake manifold gasket which if you're not getting a crank then obviously it's the starter being being bad another thing you're going to want to do is do a continuity check on this this guy goes over to the top of the battery um, some of the older bmws i actually read that the positive going into here had a small pyrotechnician so when the car got bumped it felt like it was being in an accident or rolled and a small piece of pyrotechnician would blow the positive connection to the battery uh, in response cutting all electrical power to the car preventing fires etc but those are on the older BMWs pre 2003 if I remember right don't quote me on that but it's not on this newer one so yep I got a power all the way to the starter so I swapped it I'm swapping it out now and uh, gonna do the front seal so if you guys have any questions on the 2007 328i BMW, let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a good afternoon.